Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Itadakimasu, where we try weird Japanese foods that fit the theme of the week. I'm Chad. I'm Justin, and this week's theme is something from the sea. Indeed, and our first dish is most certainly from the sea. Without fire. <laughs> so as you can see, we got some sashimi. Now, uh, <laughs> when we were talking to the merchant, we believe that this is tuna. And we believe this is like the fatty tuna. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to have like a, a strong umami flavor. Which just means it's going to taste like rough. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, so she told us to eat it with wasabi and um, soy, soy sauce. sauce. And but we don't... I don't like soy <laughs> sauce. Uh, I, can, I like soy sauce, but I'm not a huge fan of wasabi. No, I like, I'm okay with the wasabi. Although in this case, <laughs> I almost want to put a little bit of... Maybe I should put some wasabi on here. It smells like fish a little bit. Not that much, though. Yeah, but it's not, not bad. Not really. It's, this is actually probably going to be good. There's also uh, a whole bunch of garnishing on here, like radishes and some yeah. kind of green leaf. I'm just going to yeah. get a little bit of it on mine. So here we go. Just doing the fish and wasabi. This is a sashimi because there's no rice involved with this one, right? So Correct. Alright, you two Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. It's a little firm. Not, so not enough. <laughs> not enough. Okay, so the flavor ain't bad. Yeah, the flavor it's not even fishy, the flavor. No, it's really not that fishy. Um it would probably be so good if it was grilled up. The only problem I have yeah. with stuff like this is I like my meat products to have a lot of texture to them. A lot of... I want it yeah. to be chewy. Usually yeah. when I grill my meat, it's burned blackened with all kinds of carcinogenic material on the outside. And that's how I like it. Yeah, so this wasn't super squishy. It had a little bit of chewing to it. And it definitely has a tuna aftertaste. Mm -hmm. It's not a real strong flavor, but definitely a tuna aftertaste. And it's really not bad. I think I'm gonna grab another one. Yeah, all of it. Um, it's not bad for somebody who doesn't eat uh, raw fish or raw horse or anything. That's <laughs> raw horse. Over here. Now we're not Dothraki. So. My wife ate it two nights ago. Your wife is Dothraki? Well, not really. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of places um, in Japan will serve raw, different everything. Yeah. It's just a thing here. And yeah, she had raw horse with a raw egg on top of it, and. She said it was awesome. Oh, I'm glad that she thought it was awesome. <laughs> Me, I like I fire. I think I would want to eat raw so. horse. No. Or any horse for that matter. <laughs> See, Americans are so scared to eat horses. I like a horse. It's probably awesome. With fire on it. Um, so what do you think? You like uh, tuna? Raw tuna? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. So I like it. And I, I would recommend it. I think uh, it's yeah. a good experience. I think it's, it's, it's high quality. It tastes... Like yeah. it's expensive and yummy, uh, it's just my, not my thing to eat raw food. So uh, while I wouldn't eat it myself very much, um, I would recommend it to somebody. So many Americans, it's so trendy yeah. to eat sashimi and sushi and stuff. So Americans you probably love this. Um, other foreigners, if you already like raw fish, maybe you'll like it. Yeah. So thumbs up. And I have to give it a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Item number two uh, from the sea. As you can yes. see, we have some nori. So nori is pretty much just pressed seaweed. Um, kids are a huge fan of this in, in Japan. They eat this for snacks constantly. A lot of times you can find it um, packaged up just in a couple of sheets with some different flavorings and stuff on it. We just got the normal one and people will roll this uh, up into like sushi rolls and put this on the outside of their onigiri and stuff like that. Yeah, so this is a deep green color, just like seaweed. So in the video, oh, yeah, I didn't think about you that. can probably just see the background. <laughs> you can probably see right through me. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I totally didn't really think about good. that when we bought it. But... Well, yeah. uh, so... it's, it's very thin, it's crispy. You can hear how it rips, mm. almost like a paper or like a good idea to tear it. Off potato chip or whatever. Yeah. yeah, and I've had it before, so you've had it plain like this. Yeah, and I know this will be a first for you. Well, like I know I've had this on like California rolls, mm -hmm. but I've never had just a piece of it. And this is super plain. This is just uh, there's no salt, there's no flavoring on this one. It's just pressed and dried seaweed. That's it. So lots of different kinds of seaweed that they sell in Japan in different ways. This is real seaweed. It's called nori. <laughs> 
<laughs> noody noody. That's the real deal. So yeah, this is gonna be new for me. It's a big sheet of it. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I don't no, like it that so much. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected or what? That initial, initial like punch to the mouth. You thought it was gonna be like some mild taste. I thought something. it was gonna be mild. It's not mild. <laughs> Now, this comes from the ocean and tastes just like the ocean. Yeah, I mean, I definitely recognize the flavor from California Rolls. So the flavor is not a surprise, but the strength of it <laughs> was a little bit of a surprise just yeah. on its own. I mean, everything from the ocean has kind of like the fishy taste to it. This one is no different. Very, very fishy, and since that's all you're getting is uh, the seaweed is just tastes like the ocean. Yeah, this was no exception. <laughs> <laughs> now the good thing about this one that we got actually is it doesn't stink at yeah, all. Like there's almost no smell. smell. The one that always gets eaten in my family has a very strong smell to it. As soon as you open the bag, it's like ugh, ocean smell. But this mm -hmm. was really nice. Yeah. So what do you think? Um, it's seaweed. So it's not bad. I don't hate this as far as you know fishy taste and stuff go. If I gotta eat something, if I got the option to eat this or like you know, squid or um, sashimi <laughs> or sushi, I'm going with this every day of the week. <laughs> and it's just a texture thing for me. This has, you know, it's chewy, it's crispy, it's good. What do you think, would you recommend this, someone just eating it by itself? Oh, unless you're really bored and desperate for something to chew on, might as well just chew on paper or something. Yeah, so not much of a recommendation then. I mean, it's not really a food, you use it as an ingredient for stuff, right? I, uh, although, I say that and then my daughter eats, you know, five of these things a day, she's a lot too. So. <laughs> sheet for sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, do you like it, you recommend it? Uh, I would not eat it by itself, mm -hmm. there's just no reason to, unless you really like the flavor which I don't really like it. Mm, well, so I don't know about a thumbs up, but... I would say like a, like a meh. Uh, uh, but, <laughs> but if you are okay. gonna, maybe if you are gonna eat it, I would say uh, it's not bad, it's pretty good, so. No? It's from the sea, we'll give you that. We can agree to disagree on that one. <laughs> All right, so this one, oh, I'm not looking forward to this one. I don't like shrimp. I know I'm in the minority in the world, but <laughs> and now this is a deep fried shrimp, right? Yes. So you're getting off easy. Uh, everyone says I'm the wuss in these videos. There you go. Oh, this, it's got a tail. This particular shrimp. <laughs> it's got a tail. <laughs> well, I was just going to say what it doesn't have is awesome because in Japan, a lot of the time, you pick up a shrimp and it has the head with the eyeballs, it has the feet, the legs. People just out. crunch right through these little ocean goki booty, you know. They're, <laughs> they're roaches, you know, underwater yeah, roaches. They're underwater bugs. But if you pull the heads and the legs off them I and you just eat the meaty inside, and it's cooked, so yummy. It's not that bad, it's good. <laughs> yeah. See, when I see stuff like tails on my food, that's <laughs> I'm like. Ah, uh, it reminds me too much that this was an animal eating stuff, and now I'm eating it, but... That is unfortunate. Yeah. I, I agree. Yeah, I, I mean, me and you have different... I draw the line when, like, they're cutting the live squid onto oh, your plate, yeah, and it's terrible. wiggling around, and they're Ooh. pouring the salty seaweed. You know. Then I feel the same way. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Do I have to eat this thing while it's barely dead? But for this one, it's been dead a while. He's fried up. Come yeah. on, eat me. Eat so, me. I mean... <laughs> So it smells just like a deep fried thing. That's the problem with deep fried. Everything smells the same. It smells like grease because it's full of grease. Well, yeah, it smells like grease. But it's probably going to be pretty greasy too. It's full of yumminess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm ready. <laughs> I want to just draw this on that as long as possible because I love the sweat. See a sweat. Eat the rocky boss. Man. Oh, <laughs> I'm a little bit sad because it's not fresh, and the breading is really, really thick. The bread is very thick. So Thank you. So when you bite into it, since it's not fresh, it's not crispy, and it's way too chewy. Uh, it's like eating bread it's wrapped around Very chewy. Shrimp. Very yeah. chewy. So I could taste the shrimp in it, mm -hmm. but it was very mild because it had so much breading and it was so kind of greasy. Yeah. yeah. You can definitely see the shrimp in there. Well, whatever. You're not going to see it on the camera, but of course there's shrimp in there. 
It's a big long shrimp. Actually, these are really big shrimp. It is a big shrimp. That's why they were so damn expensive. This is like 10 bucks for two things. But yeah. it's good. Uh, it was very mild, so that's the only thing I like about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're expecting like a punch in the face of yeah, shrimp. Yeah, I was huh? expecting like, ooh, shrimp. Don't you mind? No. It's good. <laughs> so obviously, you like it. It's awesome. And you'd recommend it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it tastes great, but it's not for me. <laughs> so I give it a thumbs down. And I'm a thumbs down <laughs> all the way. That's a good one. All right, so that was three out of three, all from the sea, and uh, mixed reactions. All yeah, around. mixed review. We can't say what um, we would recommend and not. We didn't agree on anything, but <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun experience anyway. So yeah, so it was good. So uh, all fish. It was all decent stuff. So, I mean, we definitely won this one because they were definitely all from the sea. No Yay. questions about it. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's going to wrap up this episode of From the Sea. And stay tuned next week when we do... Energy drinks. Oh, this should be interesting. Should be entertaining, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. All right, so until then... Sayonara. Sayonara.